This is the Hey Ed YouTube channel, and I am your host, moderator, and all-around nice guy, Edward Anderson. Okay, so nothing I mentioned in this video should be construed as investment advice. Always do your own research before doing anything with your money, right? Okay, so uh, I know the thumbnail is a, sounds a little bit alarming, and it might seem like clickbait, but actually, um, I do believe uh, in the message here. I do think that uh, World War III uh, is imminent. Um, uh, uh, I think it's going to happen before the end of the year here, and uh, I'll tell you why, and then I will give you some solutions, things that you can be doing to uh, mitigate the effects on you, and maybe you can even take advantage of it, uh, heaven forbid, right? All right, so there are many flashpoints right now in the world that people need to be aware of. You know, I can think of uh, four or five right at the top of my head. You have North Korea and South Korea, which doesn't get any airtime, but that's a real issue. And you have the, the China-Taiwan issue. And you have the Russian-Ukraine issue, which could get out of control here. And we have the Iran-Israel uh, uh, issue. Now, I've got a friend, Rob Bruss, uh, who has his own YouTube channel where he talks uh, very specifically about, about how to survive uh, the next nuclear war. <laughs> um, and he makes a, a lot of really good points. He's going to be on the channel real soon. So make sure you, you look for that. It should be a fascinating discussion. He has some really important things uh, to say and to educate uh, you on. Um, and I agree with uh, pretty much everything that that, that, that he says. So we're going to get into that in our next uh, interview. But the idea of the, of the next World War III, listen, the World War III does not have to be a nuclear war. All right. Now, there's a very good chance that nuclear warheads could be uh, involved, but probably not uh, in the Terminator type event where Everyone's vaporized. It'll probably be something like a, a, a nuclear weapon being being uh, exploded in the lower atmosphere, pretty much uh, destroying anything with a uh, a semiconductor chip in it. Which, let's face it, our modern world, our way of life is based on that stuff. Even if it's not an actual nuclear uh, uh, event, we have uh, other forms of World War III, which I think has actually already started in the form of the BRICS nations declaring a few weeks ago and i did a video on this uh declaring that they're going to get together and form a an alternative to the u.s dollar they're going to create a new currency that will be backed by actual uh, commodities like gold and silver uh and even uh, oil and uh, rare earth materials uh, listen a lot of people think that russia and china are poor hey listen they've got their problems okay but they are very rich in natural resources namely oil and gold, okay? And if they do decide to create a new uh, world reserve currency to compete uh, with the U.S. dollar, which has never happened, well, it hasn't happened in, in about 100 years, right? Well, well, that's going to really shake up uh, the way the world operates. Another issue that is very important, China right now is having a real rough time economically, believe it or not. Uh, if you haven't heard, they've been having bank runs. I saw one video of a... Chinese citizen, uh, um, you know, a grown man in tears because he lost his life savings because he had all of his money in the bank and that bank went under. OK, and other people who've been trying to get money uh, out of the bank uh, in China, they haven't been able to. So there have been bank runs in China. There have been bank bankruptcies in China. The real estate market is in real trouble in China. They have what they have uh, ghost cities, right, where they have cities that were built for millions of people with big skyscrapers and all the rest of it that are empty. There's nobody living in them. They have a small little army of people going around to spray the weeds, but that's it, okay? So their real estate uh, market is is going to go bust. Now, when China, when when the when the real uh, financial disaster hits, hits in China, which is probably not very far away, it's going to have a cascading effect throughout the, the world's financial uh, uh, market. And trust me, this is what's going to happen. The, the politicians of every country out there, they're going to blame China for their financial troubles. Uh, remember, politicians are never wrong. They're never to blame, right? Uh, uh, the Federal Reserve has screwed up big time. The U.S. government just passed this uh, brand new bill called the Inflation Reduction Act, which has very little to do with fighting inflation. It's not going to fight inflation at all. In fact, it's going to make it worse. A little tidbit in there, by the way, is they set aside uh, $80 billion in order to hire a small army, a, a big army, a brand new IRS agent. 
And they say, oh, now, now these agents are for enforcement, okay? And they say, oh, there are a lot of billionaires out there who are not paying their fair share. We don't have that many billionaires. This brand new army of IRS agents, they're coming after you. Anybody who owns a small business, you are in their crosshairs. They're going to squeeze you for everything that you have. Uh, and all the rest of us, they are going to squeeze us. Our government does not like us. They don't like you and they don't respect you. They say they're looking out for you. They're not looking out for you. Inflation is going to get worse. Okay, so we know about the flashpoints and we know about the issues uh, with China. And we know about the other little flashpoints around the world. So why did I say that World War III must happen? Well, there is something going on out there uh, called the New World Order, okay? And it sounds like a conspiracy theory. It's not. And the people behind this scheme uh, is the World Economic Forum, uh, head by Klaus Schwab. I also did a video on that character. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, he is more evil than, uh, than China and Russia uh, put together. His evil comes in the form of going after your personal freedoms. What the World Economic Forum wants, what they dream of, is a, a unipolar governmental system. What they mean by that is, is they want uh, a small group of elite people make, making economic decisions for you. Okay, We've already seen that in the form of EU for the past several decades, right? I can't believe it took uh, you know England so long to get out of uh, that issue. So Brexit, good on you, man. Uh, I, why did it take you so long? Well... What they want to do now in this new uh, uh, WEF, uh, New World Order situation, is they want to control what you spend your money on. We're seeing it in the Netherlands, where farmers are not allowed to use more than this much fertilizer. And farmers now, they can't grow their crops, or the crops are, are really small. And the government is taking over their farmland. This is a grab. This is a power grab. And it's not just the Netherlands. It's going on in Canada. It's going on in America. Uh, the World Economic Forum, they have infiltrated all of the governments throughout the world. They have their people, their influences inside of, of the government, both in their, in their representatives, but also just uh, uh, in the deep state, in the people who run policy. You know, you have people making decisions about how you can run your life. What kind of food can you eat? They want you to be eating bugs. That's a serious proposition they're putting out there. They want everyone to go from eating meat to eating bugs. This is what they want. All the ideas and all the information I give you on my YouTube channel, uh, yes, it's, it's about finance and things you can do. Really what it comes down to is securing your personal sovereignty. How do you secure your personal sovereignty in the face of all this? Okay, now at the core of everything is are, are, are the currencies of your country your fiat currency. I'm in America, so uh, our, our fiat currency is the U.S. dollar, right? Well, inflation right now is running, the official rate is over 9%, but we all know that in practical terms, it's closer to 20%. What that means is the value of your dollar, the buying power of your dollar is being is being crushed. So that's going to get worse. You Any money you have sitting in your bank or in your wallet, is a depreciating asset. It's a guaranteed loss. You have to start doing things now uh, in order to counter that. The number one thing you can do is reduce your exposure to your bank. Get your money out of your bank for two important reasons. The first one is when the next big financial crisis happens, there are going to be runs on our banks and you're not going to be able to get your money out. The money sitting in your bank account is not considered your money. Did you know that? Legally, you're considered a creditor. So you got to get at least some of your money out of the bank. Now, yeah, you got to keep some money in the bank for paying bills and stuff uh, for the time being. Um, but everything beyond that, you should get out of the bank. All right. So now, now you're sitting on, on a, a, a pile of cash in your hand. What do you do? All right. You got to get some of that into gold and silver. I can't stress this enough. I've been talking about this. I, I don't know how long uh, on my channel here, but that is so critical. Gold and silver are the only actual money in the entire world. Every fiat currency that has ever existed has failed. Every single one. The U.S. dollar is the long, longest lasting one. And at the moment, it's the world reserve currency, but that is under attack, right? So uh, that's one reason why hyperinflation is coming. I know I'm kind of jumping around here because there's so much that I want to say. But this is, this is urgent, urgent stuff. Uh, you can't wait. Um, when World War III is full-blown, you better be set.
So you can't wait. You can't dawdle. You can't overthink this. You have to start doing things now. And gold and silver, listen, these guys here, this is the only actual money in the world. These have been around for 5,000 years, all right? And, and they're going to continue to be around. Goldman Sachs recently put on an article uh, uh, estimating that gold is going to shoot over $2,500 an ounce by the end of this year. So start uh, stacking up. When people say, oh, I can't afford gold and silver, listen, you're not, when you buy a gold coin or a silver coin, you're not buying anything. All you're doing is moving your assets from a depreciating asset, US dollars, into gold and silver, which is going to retain its buying. Now, you don't traditionally buy gold and silver in order to make a lot of money. You buy gold and silver in order to, to preserve your buying power, to preserve your wealth. But in actuality, I think uh, in the next big financial crisis, gold and silver are going to have their day. All right. And if you can figure out a way to buy other commodities like uh, like oil uh, and, and rare earth materials, you'll do really well on those. I've got an, a program I'm looking at right now to take advantage of that. Go to a local coin dealer. It is harder to get these days, but you got to get it. I'm in a program called 7K Metals, uh, and I'll have just a, a link for that in the description below. Look at that, some of my past videos and look at my 7K metal, metal video where I talked about it. Uh, and also give me a call and I can talk to you one-on-one -on, -one on it. I do Zoom calls on 7K metals to show people how to, that's a wonderful way to accumulate gold and silver. And there's a business opportunity there. You know, if you share 7K metals, you can make some passive income uh, off of the program. So 7K metals is one source, but listen, I'm not making this video in order to, to promote 7K metals, okay? Uh, I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing. But find a way, find a way to acquire gold and silver. Remember, you're not buying anything. You can always convert your gold and silver back into cash. It's gold and silver, for crying out loud, okay? It's, it's always been around. It's always going to be around, unlike uh, our, our fiat currency. And what's the third thing you can do? You can start establishing uh, streams of passive recurring income. Again, I've got programs that can help you do that. Very simple programs, very high quality programs. Right now, I'll tell you uh, my two favorite are 7K Metal uh, and Novatech. And I'll be doing videos pretty soon. I know on Novatech. Wonderful programs, reliable, dependable. They're going to be around uh, and it's a real good source of uh, passive uh, recurring uh, income. There are reasons why World War III has to happen. Klaus Schwab and the other uh, uh, and his evil compatriots at the WEF, they want to implement their policies. And in order, we've already uh, given away a lot of our freedoms without really knowing it. We have given away a lot of freedoms already. They've been taken from us. The most insidious instrument that they've been using is this ESG out there. And ESG uh, is, is destroying Western civilization. But listen, it's so far along right now um, uh, that our freedoms have already been eroded. Uh, but to get for that final push for people to give up the, the remainder part of their uh, of their freedoms, there's got to be a big event, something big for you to worry about. There has to be World War III. There has to be that big shiny object to distract you from their true agenda. They want you to give up the last bits of your freedom, and you're going to feel like you have no choice because. There, you know, the world is at war. So I've got to sacrifice. I've got to give up those last bits of freedom. And that's what they want. Okay. That's what they're, that's what they have to have. They need that big event, a World War III type scenario. It doesn't have to be necessarily a shooting war. Okay. So aside from those three financial issues uh, that I suggested, you know, reduce your exposure to bank, get some money into gold and silver and establish streams of passive recurring income. Again, contact me. I can give you some actual ideas about that. Aside from those three things, start prepping. Okay. You know, you should be loading up on water. At the very least, get like a Berkey water filter. I'm not an affiliate or anything. Get a Berkey water filter, B-E-R-K-E-Y. Uh, the filters are so good that you can go to a local lake or a stream, scoop it up, put it through the filter, and boom, it's drinkable. But you should be loading up on drinking water. You should be loading up on pasta and other foods uh, that have a long storage life. Listen, um, there's a real scenario here where the, your power could go out for a long period of time. What are you going to do? Imagine being in your house or your apartment and you have no electricity. 
there's no water coming out of the out of the out of your faucet. What are you going to do for the everyday thing? What are you going to What are you going to do for toilet paper and and toothpaste? All right. So you know, think this through. Now I know I'm starting to sound like a prepper, and traditionally I I know I haven't been. Uh, yeah, I consider myself a regular reasonable person. But listen, um, if you don't prepare now, there's going to be a point here, a tipping point where it's going to be too late. You're already seeing it in your grocery stores, right? I know you are. I haven't even gotten into the worldwide famine that is underway. There's a worldwide drought going on. I read an article that the the Rhine River in Germany um, is so low, people can see the rocks, you know, uh, peeking up. I know uh, at the bottom, and that affects farming and 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 all the rest of it. In England, very recently, they asked people to stop showering to to reduce their use of water because their water system. You know, what what happened? It, it, it turns out. That they have a big leak uh, uh, in uh, in their water system, and instead of spending money to repair that, they're sending money over to Ukraine to fix up the infrastructure in Ukraine. I mean, come on, guys, you got to get your priorities right. Our governments are not serving us. Your government is not going to take care of you. You have to take care of you. You have to start doing things, and you cannot wait. And do some simple things like the three steps I told you earlier. You know, start doing them. And if you need passive recurring income ideas, contact me, please. Uh, Get involved in in a few of these programs to offset the hyperinflation that's coming. You know, a year ago, extra income was nice to have. Now it's a necessity. So I went down a few rabbit holes there, but there's so much stuff that I want to talk about. This interview that I have coming up with Rob Bruss here in a day or two, make sure you watch that. That should be a lot of fun. And please subscribe to my channel. Please give me some comments. Tell me whether there there are uh, any topics you want me to cover that I haven't covered yet. And I do have a series going right now called Trading Tricks. For those of you guys who want to learn some tricks of the trade when it comes to trading the markets, that's kind of fun, right? Okay, that's it for now. Edward Anderson signing out. Copy that. (laughs) 